Yeah, I hit. Hello. Yeah, is it the control panel? Yes, so we have been able to fix the motor. Now I need somebody to be at the control panel and on the phone with me to let me know what the readings are on the ammeter so I can slowly increase the load. I can't increase the load suddenly because the motor has just been fixed now. Yes, so we will be taking it in steps 10, 15, 20 and right up to 50. Yes, it will take an hour and I need the person to be there for an hour. What? You can't have somebody there for an hour with me right now? But then we can't have the production going on tomorrow. I see. But then we will we'll lose a day's production now. Okay. I see. Hmm. Does this sound familiar to you? I wish I had a view of the amateur right here so I could manage the whole thing myself. Something which should have been the uh, amateur readings directly here to the side and I could have just watched it and done my job. We could have had the production going tomorrow. Now we will lose one day. Hi, I am Sudhir Brahma and I am the founder and developer of this company Wireless Controls. So what you just saw in the earlier section or the earlier video was was a real life angus of most of us engineers who have at some point worked in the maintenance department or various departments where the access to live data or live information was critical to doing the present task. At each point we always felt that some, that some of that data should be beamed at the point where, where we are working. So that was my passion and that was my motivation for designing some uh, this equipment which is essentially a very small device which has a camera and which beams live video, high resolution live video of the equipment that it is facing and it also controls the equipment that it is looking at. So if it is placed in front of an electrical panel, it can also control the panel and beam the live video to my simple phone or to a tab or even to a computer. All that it needs is a simple Wi-Fi connection and you are done. It, the, uh, the system hosts a web page and through the web page you can directly control the camera and directly access live reading. So it is like tele, it's like telepresence. You can be there and you can be watching what's happening there. So one of the key parts here is the way I am doing the encoding of the video. It is motion JPEG, but the way it has been implemented is what makes it unique. That plus the ability to control devices makes this device stand apart and makes this device something which can be adaptable to equipment. And that is the first step that I am going to be taking. So my plan is to look at rebranding where this equipment becomes part of a major uh, uh, major sale made by an OEM. Say for example, if it is a panel manufacturer, this equipment can go as an add-on and, and a value enhancer to a panel manufacturer's panel where he can export or beam out and store live video of, of, of the readings plus control it. It can also be used by the uh, biotech chamber manufacturers where they actually want to see the, uh, the growth of, of their various uh, plants or their various growth samples in, in progress under varied conditions which may be hazardous. So the, the first step is rebranding and then as we go forward we will convert that rebranding into, into, into equipment that is a standalone. Now the, 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 the first step in the process of rebranding there will be a lot of learning which we can plow back into a, into a step 2. Now remember one thing. This is not a commodity product because in the process of rebranding there will be some algorithm change, there will be some software change needed to adapt to the particular requirements of every, every customer. So whether it is a panel manufacturer, there will be one kind, where there will be some closed loop controls within the system. Similarly, if, if it is for a, a, a biotech manufacturer, it, there will be some closed loop systems based on the temperature, the the oxygen levels or you know the, the ambient light levels and so on and so forth and all that software really is 
is there with us. The IP or the whole, the, the entire software is within our control. And that is where the adaptation comes in and that's where the, commodity, the commoditization of this does not happen. Thank you for listening and I urge you all, take a look at my slides and I'll be happy to answer questions. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Hi, just once, one last thing before I leave you. This is the small throat bag of the whole unit. There's a camera, there's a controller unit and you have the power from the battery bank coming from here. You have the relay and you have a transmitter. That's, that's this device. It gets connected to a transmitter and the transmitter beams out the stuff to your phone, to your laptop or to your tab. I've taken a few uh, shots which you may want to see and I will leave you with that. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.